It is one of the largest beer festivals in the world and the largest competition anywhere. And while this year the Great American Beer Festival will not invite thousands of beer lovers to the convention center, it is still going on. It actually started yesterday. We talked with the Brewers Association about what GABF looks like this year. In April, we surveyed our brewers and said, if we were to hold the competition and the festival, what is the likelihood that you will be able to attend? We had a 70% likelihood that yes, they would participate in the competition, but as far as traveling, leaving their breweries, um, not knowing if they would be open, they had a much lower uncertainty on if they would attend an in-person festival. On the 20th of May, the governor then extended the use of the convention center as a field hospital, we decided to start planning for an online festival. So we opted for this national passport program. It's a passport to over 1,100 participating breweries nationwide. For the festival, it's an increase of participating breweries. This has enabled a lot of our smallest breweries to participate where they may not have been able to travel in the past to Denver. For the competition, we have about 1,700 breweries that are participating. That's down slightly from about 2,200 in 2019. However, the number of entries is about the same as last year. So we have over 9,000 entries. In a normal year, we would have about 300 judges from all over the world that come into Denver and they spend three days judging about 9,000 beers. Because of traveling and COVID, we have about 124 judges this year from about 25 states. We have spread out that judging from three days to three weeks. We have a maximum of 35 judges judging at any one time. They're six feet apart. They are wearing masks as well as full face shields. So they take the mask off to judge and taste the beer, but they're wearing their face shields at, at all times. Right now we're in the third week of judging. We've learned a lot from the competition already and ways to streamline that for next year. For the festival, we're gonna learn a lot over the next 18 days and be chatting with our passport purchasers as well as our breweries to find out what worked for them and what we can incorporate next year. The festival may look different this year, but the spirit and excitement still remain. Yeah, they're doing the best they can. And how do you get that? job as a judge. That's what I want to know. 146 Colorado breweries are particip uh, participating in the uh, passport program this year. Those passports cost $20. They'll get you deals on beer or merchandise from businesses until October 18th. They also give you access to two days of virtual programming during the official festival two weeks from today.